readers. My name is Etty Lewinstein and I'm the founder and owner of Plonk Wine Merchants. Now, how can you tell if a wine has gone bad, if it's somehow been tainted or corked in some sort of way? Well, there are three things that you want to pay attention to in order to determine if the wine has gone bad. The first thing you want to look at is the wine smell. If you stick your nose in the glass and the wine smells off to you, it's a very good indicator that the wine has somehow been flawed. The second thing you want to look at is actually the wine's color or hue. If the wine doesn't look vibrant to you, if it's a little bit brownish or brickish in tone, that's also another very good sign that the wine has somehow been flawed. And then the third thing you want to look at is the wine's taste. If you take a sip and the wine tastes sour to you, it's somehow off or it tastes a little bit carbonated when it shouldn't, that's also a very good sign that the wine has gone bad. Now, one of the most common forms of taint actually comes from the wine's cork. Now, there's a substance or chemical in the cork called TCA that can actually leach out of the cork and it actually contaminates all of the contents in the bottle. Now, the telltale sign of cork taint is this very distinct aroma of wet cardboard, otherwise known as wet dog or even a Band-Aid aroma. Now, if a sommelier pours you a glass of wine, you stick your nose in the glass and you smell cardboard, it's a definite sign that the wine has been tainted by its cork. Now, the second form of taint in wine actually comes from over-oxidation, when there's too much oxygen flow into the wine because the, the, the cork is actually a porous material and there is oxygen that flows in and out of the cork. When there's too much oxygen, the wine actually tastes like sherry. It has this sort of nutty aroma. You'll get these notes of toasted hazelnut and toasted almond. It might smell like a Madeira dessert wine to you, which is actually purposely oxidized in its barrels or casks. In that case, the wine is also flawed. And then another common form of, of taint actually comes from re-fermentation in the bottle. Now, during the fermentation process, there is sugar and there is yeast, and somehow after the wine has already been bottled, there's a little bit residual sugar and residual yeast that can re-ferment and cause this sort of carbonated vibe. So the wine tastes sparkling when it actually shouldn't be. It's a still bottle of red or white, and it actually has a spritzy taste in your mouth. If you do sense that spritz, you know the wine has somehow gone bad. Well, thanks for tuning in and hopefully these tips will help you determine whether or not your wine has gone bad.